One of my favorite things to do with Mid Journey is feed it some abstract imagery and then see what it thinks is in there. Uh, I find that fascinating. So I found this program called Filter Forge, which has tons, tons of procedurally generated textures and patterns, um, and you can alter tons of parameters to really dial in a look. So one of them that I'm using is this carved stone kind of look. So when I got something that I liked from here, I fed that to Midjourney, and Midjourney gave me these four variations, which are each interesting for different reasons. This one I really liked because it felt like like the front part of a mask or a helmet or some kind of interesting stone corroded metal kind of thing. I sent that to Dali. I've used a bunch of AI tools recently and my favorite is Midjourney by far. It consistently creates the most interesting stuff. One of the differences between Midjourney and Dali though is Dali has the ability to fill in the rest of an image. You can remove part of an image and using this um, thing called inpainting, you can have Dali imagine the rest of it. So I did that. I took that image from Midjourney, gave it to Dali, uh, cropped it so that there was more room around the edges and had Dali fill out the rest. And this is what it gave me. I love so there's already a face there a little bit of a nose I said green eyes and the prompt I asked it to give me green eyes and it did it gave me green eyes but it gave me them up there so it might be nice to pull those down and put them in here where I think they should be um, but maybe this is two separate images you know split along that line so it gave me this it gave me this which is also kind of interesting and it gave me this oh, I like these swirls then I ran it again same prompt, and I got this tiny little face, which reminds me of the door knockers on Labyrinth. Similar here, with this nice rounded kind of thing. It's almost like bat wings up here. And then it gave me a very tiny face, ignoring this part. And then they, these look like eyes, and maybe that's a mouth too. This could be split vertically as well. So that's been super fun. Making a procedural image, in Filter Forge, sending that to Midjourney, seeing what Midjourney does with it, and then sending that to Dali to iterate on, make variations, and fill in and extend the image. That's my new favorite process. That's my new favorite procedure.